What is up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Ford Era. It is Tuesday, like 7 something in the morning. I haven't slept since Sunday morning. We just drove all the way from Nebraska here and uh, I picked up Cody and uh, Cody came into town to help me actually get Clyde moving because there is like 80 something days to SEMA. So we have a Golden Star Auto full steel bed and uh, what's the game plan here? First thing, we're going to get it put together, uh, figure out the range mode for situation, and kind of get that all figured out first, so we can uh, game plan and see how we're going to go from there. So, yeah, and uh, we're probably going to run out, go sleep, because we literally just drove straight, so uh, I'll pick you guys right back up. All right, guys, so now it's 1030, went home, changed. Uh, we actually got our new to us portacool. So happy I stepped up and bought this thing because it's so hot in here. But uh, Cody has been uh, planning and doing some stuff. So what all you got going on, dude? I'm uh, making a raised bed floor. So we got to do some layout, kind of figure out where all the floors going to line up. And start putting it together like a little puzzle. Uh, figuring out how to go. They're pretty straightforward. There's not a lot to it. So. Gotta make sure you get it right. Very smart. Uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. guys so we are closing up for the day you saw a bunch of b-roll and basically uh cody assembled the center of the bed welded these uh, four corner pieces on it and then he dropped the bed side six inches so he so far did the passenger side he raised this up six inches on the other side and then the header panel he cut right out of the middle and then tig welded everything back together smoothed it back out 
tomorrow. It's on to that side. You look real tired. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> I can't believe you got this much done today, dude. I'm so tired. It's all right. You can't stop. Once you stop, it hits you. Once you stop, it's over with, so. Hell yeah. We're rocking and rolling. This thing will be, we'll have a bed while we're together tomorrow and we can start figuring out the rest of it. Well, we're gonna uh, pick you guys back up tomorrow. So it's the next day, it's day two for Cody. And uh, he got so much stuff done yesterday. I was running around making the other video that you guys saw when I was delivering some trucks up to my other place now. But he basically got the bed fully finished. It's got a six inch drop. So he took six inches out of the header panel, fully smoothed that out. Everything is TIG welded, smooth, all this. Uh, then he cut the side panels raised those six inches mounted it all back together and then now this is a carbon tub he is widening and doing all that stuff and then sean came over hey buddy hey buddy how you doing Living the dream. Yeah? yeah i uh I, I think you might be because you definitely love wiring i don't know if yeah, your dream was i'm a fan yes so what all you got going on well, I'm just trying to lay out your coyote harness out and all your goodies that are going to be under the dash and that way we can make a plate for it so it can mount and be all pretty under the dash that no one will ever see. Yeah. It's sad that all the hard work you do gets covered up. But if you do a good job, you'll never see it. <laughs> so we got the e stops. I'm running an electric emergency brake. We got the Dakota Digital stuff with the BIM modules. And then this is the painless and this is the Ford control pack. And then here's the magician. And, uh, also, what else was happening? We covered up the whole cab with the KKP film from Keystone to protect it. That way we don't have to worry about scratching anything. Cause I was like, all right, we're starting to actually work around this. Last thing I want to do is mess up the carbon. So anything that was exposed is now covered, except the roof. I just, I wasn't sure I was going to run out. So I didn't want to use that. Um, and then we also covered up the top of the frame because we're going to be starting to mount stuff in it. And then Snickers has the windows in, uh, the doors. We pour 15 to everything inside and then covered it with uh, Restomod membrane. So that's nice. Uh, what else has been going on for right now? That's pretty much it. I'll give you guys uh, Probably do some b-roll maybe some time lapses stuff like that But now that we're actually getting stuff cranking and moving it's harder to uh, keep picking the video up especially because I just got this fan so when you turn it on and then turn it all the way up it gets really loud really hot in here if the fans aren't on so we need to leave the fans on and uh, the guys like listening to music so we're gonna get stuff done we gotta get these trucks done and uh yeah
had a way to make it work and find another route. I always had a way to make it work and find another route. Always had a way to make it work and find another route. Always had a way, way, way to make it work and find another route. Two weeks later. We got Clyde, but the bed is gone. It's in a trailer, and it's on the way off to Wisconsin. So uh, we got a bunch of long bed carbon fiber parts. We were supposed to get short bed parts. And uh, long story short, bed's on the way to Brothers, and uh, they're gonna be making it awesome. 2,000 years later. All right guys, so it's been about three weeks since the last clip, and uh, Cody just flew back to town. He's putting his shoes on. He had his Crocs. And we have the cab all prepped and ready. All the body work has been done, so the jams are right now perfect. And Cody's here because we're gonna be doing a bunch of stuff on the firewall, making that beautiful. The bed came back from Wisconsin, and now the outers are carbon. The inside is still steel. Originally, it was gonna be full carbon, but because of the time limit, there's no way. So this center section is gonna lift up. That's gonna be carbon. Everything else is steel. Technically, the tubs are carbon, but I'm gonna paint them black. And uh, so Cody's gonna finish that stuff up. We got the tailgate it has to go together. So what we need to do is basically we cut out the metal so we could use the inner structure of the tailgate and then we bond the carbon tailgate to that inner structure. Chassis is all wrapped up and uh, that's pretty much where we're at. Look at these gaps. You guys see how everything lines up so perfect? Blows my mind. I was just tell them that you were gone for about three weeks. Yeah, yeah, went back on you know, a couple other things. Got some stuff ready down here so we come back and have all the parts kind of made rock and roll. How you, uh, how you feeling about it? progress going on and get the bed wrapped up get that swing in it's gonna look like a truck before you leave that's the cool right, part right, exactly. it'll be, it'll be i've never seen a full truck of clyde before and we still haven't i mean but we're gonna soon before i mean it might not be in this video but it might be in this video but either this video or next video guys like you're gonna see what a full carbon clyde looks like so yeah so now we're gonna get to work i'll pick up the camera periodically and uh yeah kicking butt he uh we got the whole firewall panels built but he doesn't want to weld it in because we're going to be taking the computer for the control pack and we're sticking it in here but it's easier oops to go through there so yeah you got an idea and uh we're kicking butt just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a heads up dave's over here we're getting the tailgate all put together so what's interesting about the carbon tailgate is we have to use a steel tailgate because we need to use the corner pieces. So we're cutting apart the Golden Star tailgate and then we're gonna bond it to the carbon stuff. 
we got out the fat fender garage cantilever bed setup and this is actually is super nice it comes with everything it comes with the actuators all the different parts we're gonna get that on the bed so that way the bed floor goes up and down and uh let's move it right along i'll give you guys a little update So it's next day and uh, Cody kicked butt. Firewall is almost all done. Computer gonna be mounted right there. This is all smooth. The only thing left to do is we gotta shave this hole and these two. Um, we got the chassis moved over here. We're gonna be putting the cab on the chassis shortly. But I just wanted to show you guys this part and then the bed. We got the Fat Fender Garage cantilever set up installed and it looks awesome so uh really soon we're going to be putting the cab on the chassis and putting the bed on the chassis but i wanted to uh make that a separate video kind of keep you guys in suspense and also that way i can get this video out um and 
the Carbon Clyde t-shirt showed up. So if you guys did a pre-order, your t-shirt has now shipped. And if you didn't do the pre-order and you wanna get one of these shirts, you wanna support me, head over to FordArid.com and you can get this awesome short shirt. Cody, can you hold this? I can show them the back of it. Yeah, yeah. See, check that out. So how cool is that? This actually looks like it's in my shop. Uh, all the sponsors are on it and it's just super bitching. Uh, so if you guys you can, head over to FordArid.com, get this shirt, use code, I watched the video till the end and you're gonna get free shipping. Thank you guys, subscribe, like, see you in the next video.